Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dominica. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this card box perfect for any wedding or any other event you want to use it for. So let's get right to it. Here are the supplies that you'll need to make this project. There will also be a link in the description box. You want to start with removing all of the glass and the mirrors from the frame base. Then you take them outside to spray paint them with the color of your choice. Now even though we have six mirrors, you only spray paint the frames of four of them. Here I'm using the cardboard backing from a frame. I did spray paint that gold as well. What I'm going to do is go ahead and glue some bling wrap to it. This is actually going to be the base of your card box. Now the little tabs on the frame that hold like the backing in place, you'll want to remove those from all of the frames except for one. Um, you need to have those tabs on the bottom piece because that's how you'll get your cards in and out of the box. Don't make the same mistake I did and remove the tabs after painting them. It's just a headache so make sure you go ahead and remove all of those um, before you paint them except for that one. The two multi-size frames that we have, what I'm doing is I'm gluing the glass back into the frames with some E6000 and I'll be removing the tabs and like I said you want to do that before you paint them. These two multi-size frames that I'm working with will be the sides of the car box.
Now I've already used one mirror frame for the cardboard backing with the bling wrap that we put in it. So that's one frame and we have three left. With those three frames, what I'm doing is gluing the mirrors back into them and I'm gluing them double sided as you can see here. So that's why we needed six mirrors even though we're only utilizing the frames from four of them. I didn't state this earlier in the video, but the reason why I'm using the E6000 and the glue gun, because the E6000 will have the permanent bond, but the glue gun actually makes it bond right away. So I can actually work with it and I don't have to wait for the glue to dry. To put this together, what I'm going to do is start by taking the two multi-size frames and gluing them down like you see here. Now I'm going to take the mirrors and glue them to the other sides of the box. And here I'm still removing tabs that I should have had removed before I painted. Now you want to go ahead and cover this in bling wrap however you see fit. My intentions originally were to cover the entire box, but when I started gluing the bling wrap, I kind of liked some of the gold showing, so I left a lot of that out. I am really loving how this is turning out. Now it did take quite a bit of time to get this covered in bling wrap. As you can see, I did put bling wrap in the inside and on the outside of the box. Now I'm taking the last mirror and I'm going to glue that to the top of the box.
Now I'm just going to finish covering the assembling wrap. And if you didn't notice earlier, I did actually switch glue guns. You actually want to use a glue gun um, that has high temperature. So the other one that I had was a low temperature glue gun and it really wasn't cutting it for this project.
I decided to wait till the following morning to complete the finishing touches. What I did was took the two by three frame. I printed out this little sign from my iPhone actually, um, just on some regular printer paper, put it inside the frame, uh, put some bling wrap around the frame, and now I'm just gonna glue it to the front of the box. It doesn't matter what side you use as the front. Um, with this card box, as you can see, you can put cards in from the front or the back, so either side works. And I'm not going to measure this or anything. I'm just going to eyeball it as long as it looks centered to me. Hey, it's fine by me. I really loved how this turned out. I hope you did too. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.